Hey team, Major Foe here, July 1940 for the USA and KMT. Bit of housekeeping. Uh, now that uh, America's at war with Germany, uh, Brazil aligns to America and Argentina aligns to Germany. So I've gone ahead and changed out those units and added the $3 to each of the two countries. Uh, Italy's not at war with a major faction, so its wartime income roller uh, is reversed. Uh, it's gone back to collecting $10. Okay, uh, there's no peacetime income as we're now at war. We have seven tech roles for America. First role is jet fighters. That's a four. This route continues. Heavy bombers. Six. That's a miss. Strategic rockets. Eight. Just missed that one. Guess we're getting closer. Oh, there we go. Improved factories with an 8. Improved construction with a 4. That's a miss. Heavy battleships. 7. That's a hit. Stage 2. And attack transports. That's a 3. I can say it's terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay, USA has $49, and the KMT has three. KMT is going to buy a cavalry, so that's pretty easy. USA has 49. They'll upgrade the, a major port for four. Lend lease a fighter to Britain for 10. Four infantry for 12. Battleship for five. Three dollars to roll for Cuba. And $15 to start three new battleships. That will equal 49. All right combat moves. So the medium bomber goes one, two, three, four into Grand Chaco. The artillery and five infantry will join that attack. The fighter will also go in there. The two infantry in Puerto Rico on the transport can move one, two. Well, I guess I did not upgrade that. <laughs> that's this turn. I <laughs> guess that's not going to work. This regard. Uh, three ships move down here and blockade port. That is likely all of the combat movements for America. KMT has no combat. All right, let's uh, let's roll for Cuba. Need three or less. Two. Cuba flips. America is going to go up one dollar. USA will go to sixty six. Okay, we'll do this battle down here. Okay, so we have uh, first strike at three. That's a hit. So they'll likely... Uh, we'll just get a first strike back at three. That's a miss. So they would probably take their artillery. 
Okay, and then they have four infantry left. We have a fighter and a bomber. Fighter's blue. Bomber hits. Okay, so that's one hit. Uh, one, two, three, four at two, and one at three paired with the artillery. Uh, no hits, and they have four at four. And no hits. So, the fighter is blue, bomber is black. Six and seven, that's another hit. So this one is dead. And we have an infantry and an artillery at three and four at two. Well, that's two hits. So that will be everyone. And they have three at four. And that's two hits. So I'll lose two infantry. Okay. Germany will go down one, and America will go up one. America goes to 67, Germany goes to 50. Okay, non-combat. So the bomber move 1, 2, 3, 4, and they'll land here as 5. The fighter move 1, 2, 3, 4. Go back to Rio. Uh, I've already moved uh, three ships down. This destroyer was here, so it'll move 1, to here, and two infantry and a transport will come down and join the bomber. And there's three units here blockading this port in Buenos Aires. Okay, non-com. Coastal sub will move one, two. I guess that's yeah it's Guantanamo Bay's port it's hard to say what sea zone that's in so I'll just move the one just to be sure um oops This sub uh, has the port there, so they'll move one and a little slow, two, the fleet can move three with the major port uh, as the battleship is the slowest, so they'll move one. Two, three. Coastal sub will move two. This coastal sub will join them. Transport will move back to seventy nine and pick up the marine and the infantry and move back to the Hawaiian Islands. Fighter, move one, two, three. Land on the Hawaiian Islands. So 
that battle group is now over here. This fighter can move one, two, three, four. And infantry. Can stay there. Um, these ships are going to come off of escort duty. And they will join the fleet in 25. Uh, no more non-combat. We will add our troops to the battle board. So the battleship it's going to join the fleet here off of San Francisco. The major port is going to be in Puerto Rico. British fighter is going to go to London. KMT is going to add the cavalry to the 100th. And three infantry are added to Washington. And one infantry is added to the 79th. Okay, America will collect 67. Uh, their bonus is plus 12. So that'll be 79. And then we'll roll for wartime income. KMT will collect $1 and the Burma Road is closed. So they'll only get the $1. So 67 and 12 was 79, correct? Yep. And add 2d6 to that. Is another 9. So $88 for the US. Now that I'm at war, I also get uh, four infantry. <laughs> Guess I wouldn't have bought those four infantry had I known. All that to say is we'll place the four infantry in the 79th. Uh, that will conclude the USA and KMT term as it is now top of the year and we're going to January 1941. I'll roll another Latin America at war roll. Let's see what we get. I'll roll a three Soviet coup. A coup pushes one Latin American nation towards Soviet-style communism. Soviet influence expands in this nation such as they can spend up to three IPP on influence. See table 3.2. Okay.
So it looks like the Soviets get to roll on a 1d12 on this table. So I'll leave that to the Soviet turn as they it looks like they can spend up to 3 IPP on that influence roll. So I would assume they roll for the table to see which country and then they can spend up to three dollars is how I understand it but I'll leave that up to the Soviets to confirm that one. Uh, all right that concludes the American and KMT turn. Uh, thanks again for watching. Looking forward to uh, January 1941 with Germany.